All right, so not too long ago, I made a video on how to diesel a pellet gun the quick and easy way, which of course is using WD-40 and just filling a tin full of WD-40 with some pellets inside. Much like the first dieseling video, this video has gotten quite a lot of controversy in the comments section. And most of the controversy for this one, other than the generic controversy of, oh, don't diesel your guns, it's bad for it, which I'll probably make a video on that too, just because so many people love to say that. But yeah, the majority of the comments were about WD-40 and about how bad WD-40 is for stuff and how bad it is specifically for your guns. But even more specifically and almost kind of hilariously, there's this big discussion about whether or not WD-40 is actually a lubricant, which is kind of a hilarious thing to like discuss and wonder about because there's no discussion or wonder even required here. I mean, we can literally just look at the can, right? The first thing it tells you that it does is that it lubricates moving parts such as hinges, wheels, rollers, chairs, and gears. So like, it's quite literally a lubricant. Like it's, it, it tells you it's a lubricant. It tells you to lubricate stuff with it. It is a lubricant. But I, I would say probably the best place to start here would be with the definition of lubrication itself. So what, what exactly is a lubricant and what exactly does it mean to lubricate something? So to lubricate something is to just apply anything to, some, to any substance. It doesn't even have to be liquid. It could be something like graphite powder even, but to apply any substance, it doesn't even have to, like it could quite literally be something like a surfactant or even like a penetrator or something like that. It doesn't even have to be like an actual oil. It could be something else. As long as it minimizes friction, as in takes it from one friction level to a lower friction level, it's a, it's a lubricant. If it, if it lubricates something, it is a lubricant. A lubricant is a substance such as oil or grease, but not limited to, again, we can have things like graphite powders and stuff, such as oil or grease used for minimizing friction, especially in an engine or component. So it's, it's any substance that minimizes friction is essentially what that says. A lubricant is a substance used for minimizing friction, okay? So that's a pretty simple one, actually. If it minimizes friction, it's, it's a lubricant, right? So let's test that. We have a decent amount of friction here. What if I just... Put a little titch touch of that. Oh, that's pretty slippery, all right. Oh, that's that's real slippery. So we got slippery there, not quite slippery there. Slippery here, not quite slippery there. Very slippery. Again, it's not gonna be like the best lubricant on planet Earth or anything, but it's a lubricant. It, it definitely makes things slippery. But I know that that somehow probably still isn't enough for people, even though the can quite literally tells you it's a lubricant. And even though it quite literally lubricates things, there's still gonna be some people that are sitting here like, oh, it's not a lubricant though. Like, okay, well, let's go to step two of this equation. Let's look up the material safety data sheets, huh? If we go here, we're on Wikipedia, so you know, uh, you could argue this isn't like the best source of information here, right? We call it a penetrating oil. Keyword there is oil. Water displacement formula. So that's one of the main arguments you'll hear is that, oh, it's, it's not a lubricant, it's a water displacer. It's like, okay, well, it, it can be both. The WD stands for water displacer. The 40 is the 40th formula. But what exactly is this formulation here? Let's take a look here. This isn't quite a material safety data sheet, but uh, it's about the closest you'll get. I don't really know how to look those things up. WD-40's main ingredients as supplied in aerosol cans, according to the US material safety data sheet information. So same source, material safety data sheets and the CAS numbers interpreted. So it is formulated from 45 to 50% low vapor pressure aliphatic hydrocarbon, isoparaffin. So in other words, petroleum oil. The key piece of information here being that uh, we're, we're made out of hydrocarbons and isoparaffins here already, which is essentially lubricating oils, right? Another 35% is petroleum base oil. So non-hazardous heavy paraffin. So in case, in case we were confused before, we have isoparaffins and heavy paraffins. So paraffin, paraffin, right now we're at 85% paraffin, so 85% lubricant so far. 25% aliphatic hydrocarbons, again, it's it's the same thing but flammable. It's a paraffin lubricant that is also flammable. And then uh, 2 to 3% carbon dioxide, we can pretty much delete that because that's just the propellant. That doesn't actually like, that's not actually part of the formulation. That's just what makes the formulation leave the can. So we can pretty much ignore that number entirely and just focus on these. So essentially what this means here is that WD-40 is made out of 100% lubrications we have this type of lubricant here we have this type of lubricant here and we have this type of lubricant here we have three types of lubricants that are blended together i mean it's probably more than that because we're talking about hydrocarbons 
plural. So this is probably multiple different types of hydrocarbons. So multiple types of lubricants actually fall into this 25% category. And it's a little bit different for the European and Australian formulations. But again, it's petroleum, 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 and more petroleum, right? So petroleum oil is essentially so basically it's what you put in your car, but thinner. More or less. I mean, I don't want to just like straight up say that, but at the end of the day, we are talking about petroleum hydrocarbons, i.e. fucking oil, right? That seems to check out with the information we have so far, which is the fact that the can says it's a lubricant and the fact that it does actually indeed lubricate things that you spray it onto. It doesn't it doesn't make things less lubricated. That's for sure. It makes things more lubricated. So that uh, that falls under lubricant for sure. But some of you still might be sitting here like, oh, I don't know, man, that's just Wikipedia. I don't even care what the U.S. material safety data sheet says. The thing is not a lubricant. Like, OK, OK, OK. Let's go to the WD-40 website, huh? This is straight from the horse's mouth, right? A question of lubrication. So we have the myth. WD-40 multi-use product is not really a lubricant. This is a myth as stated on the WD-40 website to the people who both manufacture, market, and sell this product. They are saying it is a myth that WD-40 is not a lubricant, and let's say what they have to say. Fact! While the WD in WD-40 stands for water displacement, WD-40 multi-use product is a unique, special blend of lubricants, which, again, this corroborates directly to the material safety data sheets. Special blend of lubricants. Here is our special blend of lubricants. We have these isoparaffin hydrocarbons, these heavier paraffins, and uh, some more hydrocarbons of the same type, but more flammable. In other words, special blend of lubricants. The product's formulation also contains anti-corrosion agents and ingredients for penetration, water displacement, and soil removal, right? So not only is it a lubricant, but it is a lubricant that will actually deeply penetrate. So it'll lubricate like into the pores of the metal that you spray it onto. It won't just like lubricate the surface of the metal. It'll actually like absorb into the metal and like lubricate it on like a molecular level. I mean, I don't know about molecular level, but like, you know what I mean, right? By 1965, it was being used by airlines, including Delta and United. United, for example, was using it on fixed and movable joints of their DC-8 and Boeing 720s in maintenance and overhaul. At that time, airlines were using a variant called WD-60 to clean turbines, removing light rust from control lines, and when handling or storing metal parts. So that's interesting. You would think that if it was gonna like destroy things, they wouldn't like leave them on them, right? So it's almost like it's not actually gonna ruin the, bar the barrel of your gun, huh? Because your barrel's made out of metal, isn't it? If it's good enough to use on the movable joints of a DC, well, I mean, a DC fucking eight, right? But like, you know, if, it, if it's, if it was good enough to use on movable joints of aircrafts, I'm going to go out on a limb and say it was a fucking lubricant, right? Like, why would they spray something that would do the opposite of lubricate, like, you know, the wing joints or like, you know, like the rudder or something like they're not going to spray it on the rudder if it's not going to make it fucking move better, right? Like they wouldn't do that. Oh, while we're at it, why don't we just throw in another myth all it? WD-40 multi-use product should not be used on bike chains. Fact, while WD-40 multi-use product is not a grease, it is formulated with strong lubricating oils and other ingredients and is a terrific product to use for bike maintenance. It does not attract dirt or moisture to metal surfaces. Just be sure to wipe off any excess WD-40 multi-use product before riding. Even, even the other like more common myth about it being bad for bike chains. No, it works perfectly fine for that. And the, what, it, what it boils down to really is that it is a lubricant, 100%, it is a lubricant. While it may not be the best lubricant for whatever job you are doing, it is still a lubricant and it is not going to hurt anything just because you used it. It is going to lubricate that thing. However, if that thing is not lubricated to the specification that it needs to be lubricated to, to avoid damage, then sure, you know, you might run into some problems, but the problem isn't from the WD-40 itself, it's from the lack of proper lubrication, not the fact that WD-40 is not a lubrication at all, right? Like, is it, does it work on bike chains? Yes. Is it going to hurt your bike chain? No. Are there better things to lubricate a bike chain with? Yes, like, you know, bike chain oil or like a grease or something, right? Like it's a, it's a multi-use product. It's not going to be best for anything. It's just gonna be usable for everything while not being like necessarily the best for it, right? 
And the same thing applies to guns. It's like, can you lubricate a gun with WD-40? I mean, like, you can, but you should probably use gun oil since, you know, gun oil is made for guns and it'll, you know, it'll be able to stand up to, like, the pressures and the heat and all that stuff. But to say that the WD-40 is going to hurt the gun is, that's not really the case. The WD, like, if you had a completely dry gun with no lubrication and a gun that was lubricated with WD-40, the WD-40 gun would last so much fucking longer than the non-lubricated gun that it's not even funny. Some lubrication is always going to be better than no lubrication, right? Unless we're talking about water, I guess, because water can rust things, which is another good point that quite literally anything can be a lubricant. It doesn't even have to be an oil. Water is quite literally a lubricant. That doesn't mean you should lubricate your gun with water. You should probably still lubricate your gun with gun oil. Again, I'm not saying you should even lubricate your gun with WD-40. I'm just saying it makes a good explosion for if you want your fucking pellets to go boom right like that's like the the only point of the video that i made was for dieseling pellets right like the entire point here is that you can put some wd-40 on your pellets they'll go boom and it'll increase the velocity that was the only point of my video i don't know why people are so hung up on lubrication when that's not the point of my video like if you want to sit here and say like oh you should clean and lube your gun regularly like you know perform maintenance on it like oh yeah no shit you should probably do that but that's kind of irrelevant to the fact of me dieseling pellets. Like, this isn't a tutorial on how to lubricate your gun, so I don't understand what all the hubbub is about. Like, if you want to lubricate your gun, lubricate your, your gun. That's something that you should be doing, yes. But that's irrelevant to me dieseling the gun. Like, I don't I don't really see how those two meet in space and time. It's like, they're, they're two completely separate topics. Like, I can be dieseling my gun over here but also lubricating my gun over here. Just because there's not a fucking video of me lubricating my gun, but there is a video of me dieseling my gun with WD-40. Doesn't mean that that's how I like lubricate my gun or something or like, like what? It just doesn't make any sense. Anyway, so I just, I wanted to clear up this whole WD-40 discussion because it is honestly kind of hilarious that it's even like, it's even a discussion at all because it quite literally says on the can that it's a lubricant. All it takes is a, is a cursory Google search of like 30 seconds to find not only the Wikipedia page, but the WD-40 website itself where they just busted this myth wide open and say, yeah, no, this thing's a lubricant. Like, duh, it's made out of oil. Like, it's a lubricant made out of other lubricants. So yeah, that's it. Just wanted to clear the air on that. Hopefully there's no more confusion on this. I bet there probably still will be. Again, the bottom line is that it is a lubricant. No matter how much you want to pretend it is not a lubricant, it is in fact a lubricant. It is a lubricant that is formulated out of multiple different lubricants. So it is like about as lubricated as it can get. It's like not only is it a lubricant, it's a lubricant made out of, made out of at least like three or four other lubricants. So it's, it's basically just like somebody was like, oh, let's take all these lubricants and make a super lubricant. Like that's what they did. They just made a super lube out of like four different lubes. I don't, I don't know how you can mix four different lubricants together and make something that isn't a lubricant but that seems to be what people think is the case here and it's just not so anyways that's enough rambling hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you guys learned something new and uh, hopefully you guys stop pretending that wd-40 is not a lubricant because it's definitely a lubricant but that's it see you guys in the next video peace out